Heart and Health is sponsored video content brought to you by Med City News. Hello and welcome to Heard at Health. I'm Katie Adams, a reporter at Med City News, and I'm here with Sadnik Bhattacharya, CEO of Rhapsody, which is a digital health enablement company. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Katie. Of course. So I know that interoperability is a huge focus for Rhapsody, and historically, you know, data exchange has not been a very seamless process in the healthcare world. I'd love for you to talk about how that's changing. You know, how have things gotten better in recent years? as well as what still needs to be done to achieve you know, this efficient flow of healthcare data that we all want. Yeah, so first of all, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And then, um, you know, the, it's, it's so amazing to see a lot of the innovations that are happening all around us. And if you think about digital health innovations, usually we have uh, companies creating some really cool solutions that they uh, do a proof of concept for, and then the yeah, they get their first customer and then it becomes really hard because it's hard to scale, it's hard to sell your products to providers. And what we try to do is take the burden of integrations and interoperability of those innovations with the core provider workflow and make it easy for them. So what the thing that has uh, really changed over the last uh, few years is the technological advances for interoperability and integration uh, have come a long way. Uh, there's a lot of people using APIs and Fire now. Like it's not only the good old HL7 based data exchange. Uh, so, and then the uh, the emergence of cloud and some of the the data quality enhancement techniques around patient identity management. So, the, the the trick here is to how do you put it all together in order to create a solution that makes lives easy for the healthcare innovators as well as for the providers. Perfect. Well, I want to talk more about your platform. I know Rhapsody promises to save its customers time and money. So what does that look like? So if you think about a, a digital health company, when they need to implement and integrate their solution with a provider, a health system, let's say, uh, we did some uh, studies and we found that it takes on, a, on an average about 30 weeks. There's about 200 hours of work, but there's about 48 meetings that need to happen in order to put it all together. So there is this big inefficiency in terms of trying to do stuff manually and trying to do stuff by people trying to talk to each other. So what we have tried to do is find all those interactions which could be automated. And then we try to make it so that you can get uh, as much of that automation and integration out of the box as possible. So that's uh, like something that I'm really excited about. And I think if we do our jobs well, then it will really help accelerate the digital health transformation that we all keep talking about. But it's always seems a little bit further away than we always are. Well, if you're a provider or a payer, or biotech company, you know, digital health won't look the same at any two of those. No. You need solutions that are customizable, able to meet customers where they are. Um, I know this is a, another focus for Rhapsody, so I want you to talk about why that is so important and how each organization's needs are different. Absolutely, and just to take an example, we, you have a provider on one side, a provider's IT team is always overworked, they have a list of tasks longer than they can possibly accomplish, and, uh, and then you know, they are being asked to integrate one more digital health solution into their already complicated portfolio. So, so they are trying to do more with less because they have budget pressure and they are trying to do and enable innovation on the other side. Now we've got this digital health company whose job is to get their digital health innovation in front of uh, clinicians, in front of patients. And then they go talk to the IT team or the integration team and they said, they get told, you know, get back in line because we have a full list of priorities that we need to accomplish. So the, I think the solution to this is to reduce the burden of integration on the provider IT teams so that they don't have such a big log, backlog to manage. And then, then if you do that well and the, the digital health company knows how to get the solutions into the IT team's language, into their process and so on, it can reduce the friction of getting the solutions integrated so like, tremendously. And it's really, you, you do enough on both sides to reduce the work effort involved. You, the benefits that you see for the provider is less cost. The benefits you see for the healthcare IT company is faster speed to market and faster path to revenue. So I think it's a win-win on both sides. And if we can do this just really, really nicely and do this with modern technology better for everyone involved. Yes, absolutely.